Mr. President, members of Parliamentary Assembly, I am very proud and happy to be with you today as your new General Secretary. I am very grateful that you have elected me. I am also very pleased to see the high participation in the election. I will do my utmost to deserve your trust and respect. Being a parliamentarian myself, I know very well the importance of parliamentary assemblies. I will see to it that this assembly's potential is being used fully. Having in mind that this is an intergovernmental organization, I would also like to say that uh, working closely with the government is equally important. You cannot achieve anything with having close contacts with all the governments of this great organization. One of my first priorities would be to continue the constructive process between the Committee of Ministers and the Parliamentary Assembly that has already been started. There will always be tensions and uh, disagreements between governments and par uh, parliaments and parliamentarians. That is part of our democracy. That is why we have dynamic in our democratic institutions. I would like to see to it that this dynamic is a part of the Council of Europe and that this dy dynamic, these tensions, these uh, discussions, disputes between par parliamentarians and governments can benefit our great organization. And if we also could uh, mix it up with some humor, it would be very good. Uh, in my uh, country, Norway, uh, this uh, famous uh, British TV series, uh, Yes Minister, is very popular. And uh, one of the episodes where Sir Humphrey is uh, the high civil servant, says to another civil servant in another department, he says, my minister has to resign today. And then the other civil servant uh, asks, why? And then Sir Humphrey says, well, he was sleeping in Parliament today. And then the other civil servant replies, but doesn't he do that always when he is in Parliament? And then Sir, Sir Humphrey says, the problem is that today he was speaking at the same time. <laughs> Allow me, dear colleagues, to say that this is, this is really a moving moment for me. I believe in Europe. Europe is a, the greatest peace project ever in history. What has happened on our continent after the two wars in the past century is really a miracle. The Council of Europe has been indispen indispensable in that respect because enhancing human rights and democracy is the best way to build peace. We must never forget what the famous philosopher Edmund Burke said, that where the rule of law stops, tyranny begins. And this is the purpose of the Council of Europe. That is why the Council of Europe is so important, reaching out to the entire continent. Therefore, we are also in a good position to have a constructive and good partnership with the other European institutions like the European Union and the OSCE. We must act together in order to safeguard peace and enhance human rights on the entire continent. But we must, must also be able to reform in order to be more flexible, more relevant, we are living in a changing world. We must be able to adapt to new realities. So therefore, when I'm, I have been running my campaign, I will always test to the, the need for reform, the need to uh, making a more flexible, more adaptable organization to new realities in the world. Mr. President, I will do my best. 
Allow me to thank Mr. Simosevic for a very fair campaign. I wish him the very best in the future. I will serve here in the same manner as I did in the Norwegian Parliament, namely to represent all parties. Represent everyone, whether you voted for me or against me, or not for me. I will serve Council of Europe, this very important organization, and I will serve the ideas and ideals and the standards which are so important for our continent. Thank you very much.